Hi guys, Craftbench here today, and episode 15 of Craftbench in Minecraft. I'm not sure I actually want to call it episodes. Uh, I would like to get your opinion. Should I call them, even though when I title them, I don't call them episodes. Should I just say, this is my Craftbench in Minecraft 15, or episode, or number 15? How should I say it? I, I think I say episode, but I shouldn't really. I should just say Craftbench in Minecraft 15. But anyway... Today we're going to do a few, a few uh, sort of a smallish project, um, just really for convenience sakes more than anything. And yeah, because I'm going to be getting started on Pissed House version 2, so I just want to do a a, uh, a non sort of spawning items and stuff using single player commands. So I got rid of my modded thingy and decided to load up this one and do an episode before I start getting into Pissed House stuff. So, I've decided I want a painting here, so that's what we're going to do first. And it's here. I'll figure out where all my stuff is one day. Next episode we might go to the nether, if you guys are lucky. So let's go and make a painting. Go ahead and do that, and then we'll do... Uh, I'll tell you, I'll give you a quick tour of, uh, around a few things I've changed since last time. Let's try that. Let's go on. Off you come. Stuck. Hmm, it's very dark up there. Oops, wrong place. Don't know, don't like that. Maybe I should make a custom painting that fits like one, two, three, one, two, three by three. Can you get three by threes? I don't think so. I don't know actually. Where's it gone? There it is. Okay. We'll just take a two by two then. So now it doesn't give me one. Oh. What? Okay. Sorry about this, guys. Oh, a cow. Okay. That's actually quite funny because uh, I found a mod player server and it took me. And this person ages to find a cow, and when we did, uh, I killed it with spade. So anyway, I'll show you around what I'd, I've done. Here is probably the biggest change, is I've smashed that wall out diagonally that way. And, uh, oh, what's this? That's, that light's on, that must mean we've got some cactus down here. So, and then that, that light turns off, goes here. So basically what happens is, this is linked to this here and there's a block goes up there comes up here it gets inversed all whoop dee doop dee and the top here goes inverted behind that and there's light on all a bunch of invertation to go upwards so I'll just show you where this water stream goes you can probably guess where it goes I had to change up top a bit but I won't change that because it's not really important so the cactus is over here and it comes, no sorry, it's, yeah, it's, I don't know, somewhere, and it comes, falls down one bit, and it comes along here and falls down another bit. There's the mushrooms, I have actually found that the mushrooms don't spread as much as they do, so I might have to rip out the whole farm and try something different there. Perhaps try something with a uh, big mushroom farming, perhaps, perhaps, could be interesting. But interesting enough, this thing here, if we come out here, have a look around here. This is the ladder system going up there. Breed here. Maze is for mushroom farm. Come here. What we have here? Here's some redstone. Never need to follow that line, it goes all the way into the back of my house. I've got a repeater here so that way I can cover that up. And if we just go in this maze in the shaft. I've put a bunch of signs out because I eventually will um, release my map for download. So I thought I'd better put that around for people to know where it can go. And as you can see, this dismal spread edge, but I haven't even put the pistons here because I found out about the spread being nerfed. Or, I wouldn't say nerfed, but it just a, sort of stopped. So, uh, that's it. Had to change this up a bit. I think I did on video, though. So, uh, yeah, but basically that switch just turns all of the water streams on to harvest it, but it's pretty 
not worth it anymore because of how you can't do it. We've got a door here to go outside. I might as well show you this now, up here. So what I did is I just made it so that well we can do this now. down here, into this, along here, and down to this button. Let me just turn the sound down a bit. That fov is on 90, I thought it fov was on 90, sorry. Okay, so if we go up here, just put this in here for now, and then that just activates the, uh, just the other end of the wire. If we come through here we can see it. When it's powered, it's got the pistons down. But when it's like that, I had to invert. I don't know, I didn't. Like that. So, uh, I think it's off. Yeah. Okay. Got an infinite spring there. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make a doorbell. Oops, it's easy. Show this. And it's going to be. Oh, no, it's not a doorbell, sorry. It's going to be a, just a door opening thing. Doorbell's the next thing I want to do. So. Okay, that's what I want to do, yeah. So I go... Now if I come in, I'm just going like this. Just going. Okay, good, good. But I wanted to make it so it activates both. So what I think I want to do... Oh, yes, because we've got that, okay. We, I love when you get to this stage where you've already built up and like you're, bang you're knocking into things when you're building. So like... When we look at all this back in the day, we'll be like, oh, that was that hidden behind here is all the wiring for that thing. Um, I think we'll go. Uh, let's put the wiring from these two. It's going to be there. That might be interesting, we could do that maybe. If we got this. Yes, brilliant. Okay, so we can do that and we can, we're gonna have to take this up. We're gonna have to go like this. Uh, and then we'll have to go. How am I gonna manage to, because that's just gonna. Well, we'll put this into a, uh, a doorbell, I think. You know, a doorbell might come in useful sometime in the future. Well, it probably won't, because it's only single player, so it won't come in, won't come in use, but... That's the fort which counts. So, uh, I'll fix this all up off-camera. But I don't think you'll be able to see it. No. It's all good. That's the whole idea of it. So, let's... The doorbell. Um, let's get some news down. Because now I want the door. Now I want a doorbell here, a thingy here as well. I can do that off camera, I think, because you've seen me do it once. Seeing me do it again might be a bit boring. So if we get two of these. Um, to sign. I'm on peaceful guys. 
truly sorry about that guys, I didn't I even realise that I was running around and my chicken bones weren't going down. Sorry about that. Okay, so put it here. We're gonna have the doorbell. Oh, I need to go get some more things. We can put the sign here, I think. The sign will be the last thing it goes in. I think our painting looks good, but I definitely think we're gonna have the custom painting. Actually, we could do a small little competition. I think I'm literally about to hit 800 subscribers, and I don't think you really have to hit a milestone to do a competition. So I think we will. Okay, so my the competition is. Uh, you can find out, you can, oh my word, what did I just do that for? That isn't even what I wanted to do. Okay, search on YouTube um, how to edit paintings in Minecraft or whatever, and it will tell you how to get into the painting files. Now you can put your own paintings in. I found it once and changed it myself. And what I want you to do is I want you to find the picture of this cow, and I want you to put your own thing there which says something like, I don't know, like craft bench or something. It has to be in the default text pack, and I'd like it if you could keep this like wooden border around it and just keep it in there, so that um, when we put it, I don't know, it says like I don't know, because they're like craft bench in Minecraft with my like uh, orange wool background. That'd be quite cool. And uh, whoever wins will get a uh, a mention in one of my videos and get a sign placed here with their name on, thanking them. Yeah, or you know, you could it could have what you think this base should be called or something and I really appreciate that and it would actually add that extra sort of craft bench touch to the world I think so uh, that'd be nice okay so let's get into building this okay so just trying to think where I could actually quote unquote hide the wiring okay I think So we can just do that. Put a torch in there just so people can, I can see if I have to go in there again to upgrade it. I think that was like that. Yeah, that was like that. Uh, that like that. Possibly, yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, let's put a sign down. Please use bell. Let's do a little arrow. To for to uh, please please use bell. To please use bell to to call me to alert me of alert me to the door. Please use bell to alert me to 
will let me of guess guests guests no that's not so guest Guests. Oh, I spelled all wrong. Of guests. No, it just doesn't look right. Please use bell to alert me of get. Oh, I spelled of, of wrong again. Of guests. It's pretty nice. Sweet. Come in. <laughs> ah, that's pretty nice. I'm pleased with how that came out. So what else have we got to do here? Quick drop bro. Oh, I don't feel like doing that. How about we scout out the beginnings of one of these two projects? So, or we can have a vote. Actually, now we'll have a vote. We're gonna build both of them anyway. So, mountain, window room, top of mountain, lookout. Okay. Oh, wait, so what am I doing these next? Who do I think I am? So, I could probably have pressure plates on the other side. No. So, my tower will be at the very top there. And then my window will be like here. Or, it might be... What is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I think that's 8 wide. 8 wide. How wide is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Mm, so I could build quite a nice little window in there, actually. Let's have a look up there. Five. I don't think it was eight. Okay. X-ray mod glitch. I mean, uh, pff, I don't use X-ray mod. Uh, no, nah, don't really, guys. Don't you worry about that. Let's go and have a look up there then. Okay, so what we are. This must be the cave. Ah, so was that, that's where the creeper went off and I jumped down there, we don't want to talk about that. And the spider spawn must be back here somewhere. It's up here. Yes, here it is. Yep, the griefed spider spawner. Which I did start taking some cobble of mossy stone from, but I never finished. So, there's quite a lot of work. So there's definitely nothing really important behind here. And it would actually be up there, so let's come down from above. So if we oh. I feel like people who wash really high windows right now. So here's the main face. got to make sure it fits in the mountain so it looks sort of natural but it also looks good and centered otherwise it's the type of thing that whenever you like come up these steps you look at it so it's got it's got to look right it can't just be a a quick job and it's got to it's got to fit with how these two sections here are placed so how f why is this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't want to count that ten. So I can leave two on each side and have one, two, three, four, five. Whoa, I'm getting all like confused. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six by probably want to go that high. One, two, three, four, five. Five by six window, maybe. Oh. 
Uh, hmm. I'm not sure how I want to go about this. Look at all this coal that's around. Which I've just never got. I should get it one day, but I feel then just having these sort of holes in the area doesn't look very good. I need to go further back to get a full like full view of it. Here we go. That should do. Okay. So Okay, I'm not gonna count that bit as being part of it, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this face, all this dirt down, and just square it off with clean stone, I think. Then we'll put a window in it. And then in that window I'll tell you that's gonna bring me to an announcement. So I'm gonna go and bake some some uh, cobble clear all this and then we will start on the window and getting up there so see you in a second guys Hello. okay guys I'm back and ready to do the uh, filling up the window and my cat's decided it's going to come in don't stand on my keyboard because I'm right on the edge sorry if you can hear him behind the background Perhaps I should let him out before I do the, uh... Yeah, I'll let him out. Be right back. Okay, so... Um... I'm just going to square it up with itself and then have a look at it. And I know it's gonna, it might look a bit out of place. Um... Is that part of it? Yeah, it must be. For that in a second. Help. And then, oh, those cows, man. There's only two cows left in my area, but yeah, those are the most annoying cows I've ever heard. Uh, so, I do want to just sort of patch this up a bit as well. Because more is bothering me up quite a bit. There we go. Let's take a look from afar. Right. Mm, although I'm going to slice that bit off there. There we go. Let's have a look at it now. Yeah, that's better. Might just take the. Uh, clean stone there up a couple of blocks but apart from that it's good one two oh sorry, I can't even count so far away one two mm. <laughs> one <laughs> Physic oh my word <laughs> really sorry about this guys I find sometimes when you spend some time playing Minecraft like you know when you sit there and like your eyes are really focused but I find after time all these blocks sort of just merge together so it's hard to tell uh, one apart from another at a distance like almost so that I have to physically go one, two okay so one, two, three, four, five oh, wow, I just can't it I have to do like this, okay one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so the window itself is going to be seven wide by one uh, by where's the top of it by one two three four five six seven it's not gonna be seven it's gonna be like four but let's cut out the window itself so let's decide where that window is gonna be it's gonna be I'm just gonna put two bits of dirt blocks there just so I don't mess up along here so 
this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll go down four maybe. Four would be a good number, I think. It's just scaffolding at the moment, guys, so don't worry about that. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's go down. Probably that will be the safest. This is great fun. I love doing these builds like this, like planning it all out and stuff. Okay, there we go. So now let's go back there and imagine that that's a window. Probably bring it down one more, I think we'll do. So that's good enough. I'm happy with that. And I'm just going to mine out the window. This is a bit... This is, a, is this backwards? I'm not sure. Putting in the window before you dig out the room. But we're going to do it, I think. Look good. They won't, I don't know, it might look terrible, but... What we're going to do is I think we're going to use the new glass pane. Oh, I didn't know you could make that. I made a bit too... <laughs> Maybe I made too many. At least if I misplace this, I can uh, remake it. Oh, it's going to connect to this, isn't it? Oh, but when I get rid of that, it'll go all flat and flush. Yeah, so I wanted to use these new panes, and I wasn't too sure how I should go about it. So... They are. I think this will look good because from a distance you can't tell it's the panes, not normal glass. See, so not really, but it let yeah. When I'm in there, it'll look nice. So yeah, I'll uh, just tidy up all this and we will go in and make the staircase. So be right back. So I'll see you once I'm ready to do the staircase. Whoosh! He makes it. Okay, so here we go. We can uh, we can see the room, the window very well from up here. I'll probably off camera just sort of tidy up all these caves so it just looks generally just looks a bit smoother. But uh, I definitely think it does fit in the window. Well, when this bit down here has been a bit more, a bit more tidied up, I think it will just sit there perfectly. So now what we need to do is we need to figure out where the staircase is going to be. So the staircase is going to be. And this centre line here is going to be there, which we'll uh, know to do. But how far back is it going to be? So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven or twelve, eleven or twelve. So I'll just make a stairway up, eleven or twelve blocks back. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, hit it back here. Okay, so we'll make a... Here we go. At the window, and wow. Wow, when you stand here, you feel quite high up, but when you come here, you just, like, realise how much there is down there. Wow. Look at that, we can see the farm. See the palms, which really do look quite nice. The down, you can see the pathway down there. Just at the corner we can see the cactus and sugar cane, tree farm, the dock, the bridge over to the little mine, all that sugar cane. Wow. It's really good. But it's a foggy day out today. Because I can't see much. So uh, that's pretty good. So over the course between this episode and the next episode, I'll uh, clear out this room to the size I want, tidy it all up, and um, put a bit more of an elegant staircase in. But uh, I think the staircase we will actually put in the permanent one will be a <coughs> will be a piston staircase. I'm thinking we're going to use Ethos design as uh, for the materials I've got. That is probably the most efficient one because uh, I don't need sticky pistons or anything. I was going to make a zipper one using stairs like there is in Doc M77, but uh, we don't have any uh, slimes yet, so I think we'll just have to go with Ethos design which was also just as fast so that should be good and then I'll also explain what we're going to have in this room this room is going to be quite special it's going to include should I give you a little spoiler it's going to include a diamond a gold a silver 
a diamond, a gold, a silver, and a lapis block. And it's going to include it will include glowstone. So but all we'll, that's all for the next episode. So uh thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please do uh thumb it up if you enjoyed. If you really did enjoy it, please do favourite it. Uh if you haven't subscribed already and you enjoy my videos, please do hit the subscribe button to be updated on the homepage of any new videos. And uh feel free to leave a comment as I reply to all of your comments as I so mainly why I'm on YouTube is to uh interact with you guys about Minecraft. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one guys. Bye.